for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.isgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answers discussion visit www.gatemec.com so question number 11 given that point it is one of the root of the equation x cube minus 0 0.6 x square minus 1.84 x plus 1.344 is equal to 0 the other roots are options were given such a case how we have to solve is a general equation of the form a third order equation of the form x cube plus a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 and say suppose l m n are the roots of this equation then we know the sum of the roots l plus m plus n is equal to minus a and lm plus mn plus ln must be equal to b and l into m into n will be equal to minus c now from this l has already been given l is equal to 0.8 he has given so we can take l is equal to 0.8 substitute use first equation and the third equation okay substitute l in this so this will be 0.8 plus m plus n in place first equation will be 0.8 plus m plus n that is equal to minus a here in place of a what is there minus 0.6 is there so minus of minus 0.6 that would be plus 0.6 so from here m plus n is equal to 0 0.6 minus 0 0.8 point minus 0 0.2 from the third equation 0 0.8 into m into n will be equal to minus c in place of c it is 1.344 so minus c means minus 1.344 in place m into n is equal to 1 minus 1.344 by 0 0.8 minus 1.344 by 0 0.8 this would be minus uh, 8 ones 54 8 6 48 64 8 8s minus 1 sorry minus 1.68 yes so now m plus n is equal to minus 0.2 mn is equal to minus 1.68 you can solve this equation get m is equal to minus 1.68 by n then you substitute you solve that you can do rather in these kind of an examinations what you can do you substitute the given options in this whichever would satisfy that would be the answer now 1.1 minus 1.4 substitute here 1.1 minus 1.4 will be minus 0 0.3 it is not it is wrong second one you substitute minus 1.2 plus 1.4 so minus 1.2 plus 1.4 will be plus 0.2 so this is also wrong here 1.2 minus 1.4 it is 1.2 minus 1.4 that is minus 0.2 so first of this is correct it is satisfying the first equation now check with the second equation multiply those two 1.2 into minus 1.4 that will be minus 48 1.2 that will be 861 so 1.68 minus 1.68 so this is also correct so the correct option is c so here we have used if L M N are the roots of the given third order equation then if it is of the form x cube plus a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 then L plus M plus n is equal to minus a this is equal to b this is equal to c we have used how this has come suppose L M N are the given roots of the given equation then the equation we shall be able to write as x minus L into x minus M into x minus n now expand this equation so x minus l into this is x into x x square this is my x into minus n minus nx minus m into x minus mx so minus if you take out common this is minus of m plus n into x then minus m into minus n plus mn now again you multiply x into x square x cube x into minus m plus n into x x square into m minus m plus n x into mnx so plus mnx minus lx square minus lx square then minus l into m minus l into minus m plus n into x so plus l into m plus n into x 
minus l into plus mn that is minus l mn so if you write it properly it will be x cube minus x square term here this is there here lx square is there so minus x square if you take out common it will be m plus n plus l so yeah i will write it as l plus m plus n into x square now x term x term will be l into m plus n into x and here one x term is there these two terms so it will be plus lm plus ln plus mn i will write it as lm plus mn plus ln into x minus lmn the constant okay now this equation you equate it to the given equation here x cube plus ax square plus so that equation you equate it here so it will be x cube plus a x square plus b x plus c will be equal to shall be equal to x cube minus l plus m plus n into x square plus l m plus m n plus l n into x minus l m n equate x cube x cube is there x square coefficient here a a while x square coefficient here minus l plus m plus n so a is equal to minus of l plus m plus n or in the other words we can write l plus m plus n is equal to minus a similarly x coefficient lm plus n lm plus m n plus ln here on the rh side left hand side it is plus b okay constant here c is there here minus l m n is there so c is equal to minus l m n i can write it as l m n is equal to minus c so this is how we have used it question number 12 in set a the equation x cube minus 8 x square plus 37 x minus 50 is equal to 0 is factored and it has 3 plus 4 a as one of the root what is the real root of this equation options are given as 2 4 6.5 and 13 while discussing question number 11 we have said that i have given the explanation clearly there if a equation is of the form x cube plus a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 and l m n are its roots then we said l plus m plus n would be equal to minus a l m plus m n plus l n is equal to plus b l into m into n would be equal to minus c we should also remember one fact here is that whenever a plus i b whenever a plus i b any complex system any complex number is a root of any given equation uh, a a minus i b would all would also be a root of the equation so complex roots would always be appear in conjugate pairs so if a plus i b is a root of the given equation a minus i b also would be the root of the given equation so here what he has given is l he has given one of the root is 3 plus 4 i he has given now we know if 3 plus 4a is a root of the given equation 3 minus 4a shall also be its root so m is equal to 3 minus 4a now what we don't know is n so you can just simply add them up l from the first equation here l plus m plus n is equal to minus a in place of a here minus 8 is there it means minus of minus 8 is plus 8 so if you do that l plus m plus n 3 plus 4a plus 3 minus 4i plus n we don't know must be equal to minus minus of minus 8 is plus 8 so plus 4i minus 4a 3 plus 3 is 6 plus n is equal to 8 so n is equal to 8 minus 6 is equal to 2 the option is a the explanation why these three rules we can directly wrote i have given in the question number 11 explanation you can refer that video for the explanation so question number 17 he has given x and f of x values for 0, 1, 2, 3 of x. f of x is 3, 6, 11, 18. Sorry, this is 18. So, he has asked us what is the form of f of x. Four options were given a x square plus 2x plus 3, x square minus 2x plus 3, x square plus 2x minus 3, x square minus 2x minus 3. Such kind of an equations, it is always better to substitute the given x value in this and whichever option satisfies all the values of x that would be the correct answer now substitute 0 in this 0 plus 0 plus 3 it is true for 0 
1 in this 1 plus 2 plus 3 6 it is true for 1 2 in this 2 square 4 plus 4 plus 3 it is 11 it is true 3 3 square 9 plus 6 15 plus 3 18 so the option 1 satisfies all the given uh, conditions so answer is a one more important question let's see the eigenvectors of the matrix 1 2 0 2 are in the form 1 a 1 b what is the value of a plus b options were given as 0 1 by 2 1 and 2 this question was given in gate 2008 for mechanical engineering as well as indian engineering services exam 2018 also so this also was given in engineering services examination 2018 for mechanical engineering okay now the solution is what he has given is the eigenvectors x1 two eigenvectors he has given one is 1a the other one is 1b the matrix given is 1 2 0 2 this is an upper triangular matrix if you see this is an upper triangular matrix what we know is for an upper triangular matrix or for a lower triangular matrix or for a diagonal matrix the diagonal elements will be equal to the eigenvalues so eigenvalues are equal to 1 comma 2 say suppose lambda 1 is equal to 1 lambda 2 is equal to 2 so x1 he has given as 1a x2 he has given as 1b let's say lambda 1 is equal to 1 corresponds to 1a so you find out a minus lambda <coughs> from definition of the eigenvalues we know ax is equal to lambda x okay now you substitute a is 1 2 0 2 x is 1 a shall be equal to lambda into x x is again 1 a okay if you do this 1 into 1 1 plus 2 a bottom 0 plus 2 a shall be equal to lambda into 1 a lambda will consider 1 so 1 into 1a one is nothing but 1a so if you equate these two 1 plus 2a is equal to 1 implies a is equal to 1 1 gets cancelled a is equal to 0 or 2a is equal to a m plus 2a minus a is equal to a is equal to 0 so a value we got as 0 now use lambda 2 and x2 so ax is equal to lambda 2 x2 so a is again 1 2 0 2 x is x given as 1 b lambda 2 given as 2 1 b now 1 plus 2 b 0 plus 2 b is equal to 2 2 b so 1 plus 2 b is equal to 2 m plus b is equal to 2 b is equal to 2 minus 1 1 2 b is equal to 1 so b is equal to 1 by 2 so if you what we want is a plus b a is 0 b is 1 by 2 a plus b is 0 plus 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 is the correct answer this you can also do it in another way what is that another way other than <coughs> multiple this is the best way but the standard way also you can follow what is that since lambda 1 lambda 2 you get, you know lambda 1 is equal to 1 you find out a minus lambda i into x is equal to 0 solve this for x a minus lambda i is a is 1 2 0 2 lambda 1 is 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 2 0 2 minus 1 is 1 so the corresponding x y is equal to 0 0 so 0 into x plus 2 into y is equal to 0 0 into x plus 0 into y so y is equal to 0 in the first place y is equal to 0 first eigenvector y is equal to 0 come x we don't know x can be anything so first eigenvector is x comma 0 type second eigenvector corresponds to lambda is equal to 2 you substitute 1 minus 2 minus 1 2 minus 2 0 0 sorry sorry you have to remove lambda only across the diagonal element so 1 minus 2 minus 1 2 is as it is 0 2 minus 2 0 you substitute this x y is equal to 0 0 now minus x plus 2 y is equal to 0 so here 
already <coughs> one eigen value he has given x comma 0 assume this is equal to the first eigen value in the second eigen value 1 b is there in both the say in both the cases x is equal to 1 he has given so keep x is equal to 1 so this is that is minus 1 plus 2 y is equal to 0 m plus 2 y is equal to minus 1 goes that side becomes plus 1 so y is equal to 1 by 2 so this eigen value is of the form y is 1 by 2 x is 1 so two eigen vectors we got here x can be anything x in this case we can take 1 0 1 so this is 1 0 is an eigen vector 1 1 by 2 is an eigen vector corresponds to in place of a 0 is there in place of b 1 by 2 is there sum of a plus b will be equal to 1 by 2 for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.ilsgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion visit www.getnet.com